Thank you very much uh, to all our reporters uh, for staying up for hours, of course, uh, giving us live coverage as those results continue to trickle in. Let's go back to Stephen Huertas now at The Rock in Pretoria. Stephen? Griselda, thank you very much indeed. We've got a, an array of political figures uh, coming through, rumbling through our studios, if I can use that phrase. <coughs> You'll see and hear Fikile Mbalula, the chief campaigner, the chief uh, elections organizer for the African National Congress in a few minutes. But first, let's speak to the former leader of the Freedom Front Plus. And the Freedom Front Plus, in a way, one of the stories of this election. In the last election, got just over 1% of the vote. Already at this stage, uh, on the projections and from the percentage of the vote that's been counted, is on 2.63%, of course, Still a lot more votes to come in. We're sort of just past the halfway stage. But Dr. Peter Mulder, good evening to you and thank you for coming in tonight. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you, Stephen. Former leader of this party that now has increased its support, I imagine you're very pleased. Yes, I'm very pleased. I've been at this place for, since 1994 and uh, I think this is the best one and, and from that stage. I'm not the leader anymore, let me just put that, so I can't speak on behalf of. But as an analyst and as an ex-leader, I'm really thankful for what's happening. And I think certain things came through. For the first time, people start understanding the system, that you cannot uh, waste your vote on a small party, that uh, the, the, the DA cannot win on its own. And that type of argument we've been using for 20 years, and I think it's coming through now, and hopefully people are voting more according to uh, how they believe. You, you say all of that, but surely the most important thing was the decision taken at Nasrik by the ANC to expropriate land without compensation. Isn't that what pushed up your share of the vote? I think it helped a lot. Of course it helped. Uh, that it helped. Uh, the EFF helped. The BLF helped. And uh, I'm, I'm very negative, worried about this, what I said, polarization of South Africa. It's not good for anyone. Uh, I'm a South African, I'm here to stay. And that is a bad situation, but surely it played a part that we are polarized at the moment, and I don't think that's ideal, but it did play a role without any doubt, yeah. So you're very worried about polarization in our society? Well, I think so. I, 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 if I may quote, I quoted Mr. Mandela more than once in Parliament. He said, if the good people of different parties come together, this is a beautiful country. But if the bad ones come together, we're going to fight and, and can't conflict. And I'm afraid we had a very bad patch uh, of polarization. That's easy politics. It's easy to work people up on emotion on race or whatever. It's more difficult to play the other way around. You say you're worried about polarization and yet the slogan on all of the banners for mm. your party was Slan Terug, hit back. Yeah. I can't think of anything that's more polarizing than that slogan. Well, <laughs> well the, the, the reality is, technically it's not mean physically, of course, but uh, I think people are really at the stage after what happened to say you either got the choice, and, and I'm not talking about white people, I'm sorry to say white people, but the EFF targeted white people. Mr. Zuma said Jan Faribiak, you know, and they say you either leave the country, and I'm afraid a lot of very professional guys are leaving, young ones or you stay and I'm staying and then if you stay you said which party will then for the best look after my interest and sure I think that did play a role uh, with the Freedom Front they had a good campaign as well but that was for more or less maybe we're going to stay we've got the crazy to stay we want to make a contribution but surely don't uh, discriminate against us right I mean surely someone could have used the phrase be heard rather than hit back it's very complicated. <laughs> yeah. Well, the election, the, the academic guys would like to be heard. You're a professor of communication. Come yes, on. <laughs> and, and, and because I'm a professor of communication, uh, they get, never get become presidents because they're too academic. Yeah, you must get to the normal people. Maybe that one with better results show that. Dr. Peter Mulder, thank you very much indeed. Former leader of the Freedom Front Plus, speaking also in a, with a sort of hat as an analyst. We're going to go back to the studio in Johannesburg for a couple of moments. When we come back to uh, here in Pretoria, the chief campaigns organizer, the chief elections organizer for the ANC, Fakile Mbaluda.